Look, look, look at here, folks. Thomas Brady has secured the bag of winning the Super Bowl, man, and catching his seventh ring. And it's weird because what I saw on the field might disturb some people, bro. But we're going to keep it a buck. As I was watching this so-called Super Bowl yesterday, man, I just seen a lot of stuff that was going on with the refs, bro. And I said like this, Tom Brady wasn't just playing a nine-man team. He had three more members, and those so-called refs that was running up down the field. And Tom Brady was throwing passes, and they was calling more calls for Tom Brady, like pass interferences and stuff like that, which I seen Mike Evans trip by himself. And that should have been no call. And I told y'all this, man. Tom Brady calling himself the GOAT. Because he's full of that Pop Betty Lucy bloodline, man. For real. He's part of the high elites, man. And when you when they played this game in Tampa Bay, it was already set up from the jump, man. Everything was set in motion for Tom Brady to get to his hometown and win the whole thing, man. With a 12-man team, including the refs, man. Yeah, man. They might well just, uh... Say the refs was helping Tom Brady win this whole thing, man. All the way from the Green Bay Packers game, all the way into Drew Brees was throwing passes, interceptions out of nowhere. Just odd and weird to me. And that's why I say you should never bet on no sports game, man. And when you got the GOAT, Pop Betty Lucy's son, Tom Brady out here, throwing passes and Making it look like it's so special, man. I don't see nothing special he really did. Ain't no right after this, man. You know what I'm saying? He had a sinister look on his face like, <laughs> yeah, they don't know that this was given to me. Even the owner of the Tampa Bay Bucks, man, that dude wasn't even looking happy at all. When well, nobody's so extremely happy but the players, you know what I'm saying, like the defensive players. But Tom Brady, he was the only one just like, oh, that's another day in the park. And you know what I'm saying? I was going to get this ring anyway, so. Hey, it's each his own, man. And that's the reason why Tom Brady is winning all these rings. Because it's Ralphs, man. I don't know what type of bond he got with these Ralphs, bro. Like, I don't really know. He high fiving them and, you know what I'm saying? Chest bumping these Ralphs and all this, bro. Like, what do you, what, I mean, what's the point, man? If you can't see, if you can't see a fair game or watch a fair game, why is it? Even showing this type of game to the people. Cause I see all between these, man. I mean, they were calling penalties on uh, the Chiefs like every single play down there, man. I remember one play when uh, Tampa Bay was going to kick a field goal. They called outside on their defense, bro. <laughs> on a field goal and gave them a first down. I was like, man, people don't really see this between these sports, man. Like, they don't really see between the eyes, between the lines, man, for real. The lies, bro. And Tom Brady, man, he sat on the pulpit, and he coming back for another year. Wow. I guess him and the Rebels going to be coming back for another year. But, man, what y'all think about Tom Brady, the so-called Pop Betty Lucy's goat son, catching his seventh Super Bowl ring? Let me know in the comment box, man. It's the messy robot, and I'm out. Rigged.